going to Bird Brains and welcome to episode 8 of the Ultimate Ultra Build Series featuring this 2018 Ultra where we take it from a stock machine into a badass bike. Now today is an episode that I am extremely excited for. It's one I've been waiting since pretty much I got the bike. So as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we have gotten our handlebars in. I decided to go with the Clockworks Clip Hanger Adjustable Handlebars. Now, I'll try to show you here in the picture. Basically, you've got one U-bar that goes across here, two knuckles that connect these uh, grip portions, and they are adjustable at many points. So here they are, completely disassembled. Of course, we went with black. So you've got your uh, basic U-bar, your knuckles that connect that U-bar to the grips. So basically what we'll be able to do, now of course I'm not holding this proper, but just to give you an idea, you're going to be able to adjust whether your hands are down as well as straight, you're going to be able to adjust your forward and backward on your wrist as well as the pull back on the bars. Clockworks was nice enough to not only send me these bars, but also another thing we're going to be putting on this episode is a new windscreen. Now, I don't actually have the windscreen yet, it's going to get here in a couple days, but it'll be the same episode, but uh, I can't really show you guys. The, the windscreen yet, but it's gonna be a 12 inch pro touring tinted, so it's gonna look a lot better than this stock uh, ugly clear POS that the bike comes with. And then, last but not least, another awesome product from our guys over at Advan Black. And that is this tour pack liner here. This is a, uh, a leather tour pack liner. It's got awesome stitching, of course. I went with the red stitching. They offer it in quite a few different colors. Uh, it's thick, it's soft, it's durable. You've got two for both the top and the bottom. Uh, as you can see here, it has a cutout for the top, which is for that uh, tether right there. But I did notice that since this is not for an Ultra, it's just for a regular road glide, it does not have this cutout here for the power port on the bottom. So it's gonna take a little bit of modification on my part, but uh, I think we can get it done. I think we'll be all right. So. Without any further ado, let's finally get some bars on this bike. Let's get to work. Update. We've got the old bars off. So one thing that I was told, thanks to a uh, fellow motovlogger called Touring Midwest, I'm sure you've seen some of his videos pop up. He said if you remove uh, these from the this clipping back here, you actually don't need the um, the wire extensions that Clocksworks says you have to have. He said just uh, unclip it from there, and I think I have to remove this piece right here as well. He said once you get that undone, you've got plenty of slack, or not plenty of slack, but you have just enough slack to run these bars without the extenders. And now what we have to do is assemble the bars that uh, Miss Bird has conveniently trapped under the tripod here. Mine. So now we have to assemble the handlebars, which is a weird thing to say, but uh, that's what we have to do now. Let's get to work.
All right guys, time for an update. The bars are done. Special shout out to Miss Bird for helping me with the uh, camera work. And also special shout out for her bringing in this giant wooden thing. What's this thing called? An altar? An altar? Like an altar boy? Don't, don't touch him. He's underage. But that's, uh, that's what we're gonna get married under. So our friend Isaiah built it and it's pretty dope. It takes up a lot of room in the garage. But only three more weeks. By the time you guys see this, we'll be married, so that's a thing. Uh, anyways, back to the bars. So I absolutely love the way they look. I love the way they feel. I love how adjustable they are, that you literally just loosen everything and then sit where you wanna sit and everything just works. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's super adjustable. I didn't. I did not take, or I did not end up putting this grip back on. Reason being is I was able to get it off the bars, actually. You can see the bars there. I was able to get it off without damaging it. But I've got new Arlen Nest grips coming in. They just didn't uh, come in in time. So if they come in by Friday, you'll see it on this episode. If not, uh, it'll have to wait until next episode. But those will just slide on. It's no big deal. Also, they do have plug caps for here and here. They are sitting right here. But of course, they are chrome. And they, they sit in like that, but I think that uh, those need to go red, if, uh, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm going to do both of them red or just one of them red and one of them black. I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of play it by ear. What do you think? Both red? Yes. Okay. So we'll probably do all four of them red then. So now that that's done, uh, we're going to move on to the Tour Pack Liner from Advan Black. So let's get back to work. Tour pack liner is in, looking fresh. It looks really good, guys. I don't know how well the, the camera's picking it up, but it, uh, it looks regal AF. It looks super fancy. But that is going to do it for today. But don't click away. You guys are going today too right now.